If you get caught cheating, bro, I know how you can get your girl back. So, if you cheat on her and she leave you, that's what I'm saying. She's not gonna leave you for that. But nah, you know, they don't. They, they make the not. threat. They yeah. make the threat, bro. You wanna know how you get your girl back? Let me hear this shit. Just tell her you gonna kill yourself, bro. <laughs> 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 just tell her you're gonna kill yourself, bro. <laughs> Nobody. That does was. not always work. You end up in it a works, psych ward no, before works, you bro. end up on a jacket, with them. bro. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck this. I'm out of here. <laughs> and then, hang up and then when she does do that, God forbid. No, you, no, gotta, you do gotta say it. it. She can't do she it. She can't do it because she probably really do it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Girls always stick to their shit. I'm telling, bro. I'm just telling y'all what I know. What I if she know. says she's gonna kill herself? I and then now that. we gotta have a talk intervention, mm -hmm. all of that. What if there's no home. talk intervention? Nah, when women make threats, like women are smarter than men. When they mm -hmm. make threats like that, I listen. Yeah, but I just you don't, don't laugh. Well, well, uh, I, I'm a fucked up nigga. I yeah. laugh. I have nervous laughter. So when people, <laughs> when I see people getting serious, I laugh. That's just my thing. But I don't mean it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people have told me, yo. My mom's just had a stroke. <laughs> like, I'm fucked up. I know I'm fucked up, but I'm, yeah. I'm dealing with that internally. You know what I mean? I'm dealing with that internally. <laughs> but what's the next question? Let's keep going. So you know you're fucked up, so that's intentional. No, it's not intentional. I can't control it, but I know so what then it looks like. So why would it be fucked up if it's something you can't control? Because I know what it looks like. It's, I, you mean it seems fucked up, but it's not fucked up. I'd rather, I rather just beat them to it. Like, instead of saying, instead of somebody hearing, oh, well, you're fucked up, nigga. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to disarm you. I'm a fucked up, nigga. That's my thing. That's how I do. Next question. Anyway, shout out to Dana. All right, shout out to her. Um, how long should you wait until you introduce someone you're dating to your kids? Ooh, ooh. Women are smarter than men. What about you think? What you think about? I ain't got no kid. I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I would be so because of my ex past experiences, I would be afraid to even introduce someone new to my children. So it would take, for me personally, a very long time. I can't say how long, but I mean, if it becomes serious and you feel like you fell in love and, you know, they met the family, maybe bring them around your kids too as a friend. What if he DM your kid on Instagram? What the fuck? Because you're going to have the Instagram popping. <laughs> Bruh, I'm blocking them. <laughs> All right, just ask him. Like, hey, uh, simple. I have yeah, like I've been knocking moms like... off for six months now. I think it's time. <laughs> I finally want to meet 20. you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I, I, I heard I mean, you I, like Pokemon and shit. I, I love Pokemon. Just... But um, <laughs> that's a tricky question because it depends on how many other dudes the kids done met. Like yeah. if, if they meeting dudes, if this shit is like a train to an airport, it's like I probably if this, how, how do the kids know this is the one? That's a good question. So that question you should ask. Like if, right before you, when you start feeling like you're getting closer to that point, you should ask yourself. That. Yeah, like well, the crazy part when you meet them and you decide, dude, and they see you in the street, and they ain't supposed to know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're like, what up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I see that shit on TV. Uncle <laughs> hey, Tommy, <laughs> now or somebody just or a dad or your dad comes right out the car, like fixing himself and shit, like fixing his pants, coming out the car, and and his daughter's right there down the block at the corner. Oh my god, that shit crazy. No, nah, that's a, um, I would say that's just crazy. I don't think you could really put a time limit yeah. on it, but if you serious, it's all in the presentation though. Don't just have them pop up at the crib. Have them go, go out to eat or something. I mean, they're asking about how long. So I feel like it's it's an individual thing, though, too. Yeah, you can't really put on time. Because yeah. you have to feel secure that. I mean, I probably, I don't know. I would say after three good arguments, boom, he's locked in. <laughs> he's locked in. He knows you crazy. He none seen you do all of that shit. The neck. Boop, boop, boop. Debbie, you fuck with them bitches. <laughs> Boom, three of those. I don't know who he's mimicking. Nobody, I'm just saying in general. I know. What about you? When do you think is a good time? I don't know because like everyone that you that I'm around, I'm around for a little bit. So it's like I'm already around them before it's even something. You yeah, know? Kid, kids. Like, I don't meet new pe new people. Like I don't. Honestly, I mean, we don't have kids. Yeah. I don't. So we're we're kids. answering from you know a perspective like a non parental yeah, yeah perspective. Kids remember everything, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah. But I definitely remember. Shit. Yeah, I think it's all in the presentation. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It but, is. We got the next question. I guess you um, work for cable. 
Cable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cable. We, we up there. Yeah. So why shout out the room door. Shout out to Rocco. <laughs> Shout out to Rocco. What up, How man? do you Rocco, get Rocco. out? How do you get out the friend zone with someone who put you there years ago? But boom, perfect. First off, I got this. I got it. You don't got this shit. This is how you do it. First off, you fucked up because you waited years. You may not even still be in there, but this is what you do. You you gotta reestablish the connection, first of all. Boom. If she's then it because you only could the friend zone has like a time limit on it. Like if she puts you in a friend zone 10 years ago, you could just send a dick pic, boom, you out. <laughs> Fuck it. She like, boom, the rainy Tuesday night. You win there. But you reestablish the friendship, right? Just to connect. You know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. She friend zone me. It depends on how long ago it was. She friends on you. How long he said it was? Years ago. Years ago? All right, cool. That's too long. Because <laughs> women update their friends on every three to four months. All you got to do, as soon as she puts you in the friend zone, start an argument. Fight with her. Fight with her. Fight with her. Fight with her. Then it fucks up their algorithm, bro. <laughs> it fucks up their algorithm. Now you be a sweetheart. I am sorry. Da da da. Can I take you out to eat? Yeah, come on, let's go out to eat. You out the friends or y'all? That's a date, motherfucker. The <laughs> fucking date. I do. I told quote this shit. Quote called me one day. Yo, that shit works. <laughs> I'm like, I know, but I'm out the game. I know it works. I don't use that no more. What, it's yours. What do you think? Personally, you sometimes. On Personally, I think sometimes friends make the best couples in I some I situations. Say lovers, all right, go ahead. Lovers too, whatever. Fuckers but and friends. Then yeah, I that does work. <laughs> well, that works Mike, very well if y'all on the same page. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you see that? I've been just I think I got it. <laughs> Can you tell me what it is? I don't like, remember. No. What now? On, so I think I got that one. Like, this shit. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I can't find this shit. This shit funny, bro. Funny. What do you mean you don't know, but it's funny? You uh, gotta know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. This is the meme I think he's talking about. <laughs> Nigga said <laughs> It's a text right He said yo The neighbor's kids Just challenged oh, us I, To a water fight Oh I didn't see that one Right <laughs> So my man said I'm in I'm just waiting For the water to boil <laughs> <laughs> And then You know you swipe it His Jordan face He said fuck them kids <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't talk about that was the way You said huh? I, I love that it. shit So when Jordan Say it. fuck them kids bro Sheesh. Cause I know Jordan Meant that shit Really That's Jordan I like it. Anyway, <laughs> what are we talking about? Getting out of the friend zone is a little bit difficult because okay. um, you know, sometimes you don't want to ruin a friendship. You're like, you know what comes with a relationship, so it's kind of hard to get Why well, got to be a relationship? Yeah. I can't They're fight. trying to get out the friend zone. What are they what else are they trying to do? D? Be in no relationship that they trying to get out the friend zone? They trying to be in a relationship. I know Rocco. Rocco Rocco trying to beat. Hey, Rocco just trying to Rocco honestly I would just have a, oh, damn. It kind of sucks because the people that have spoken to me and poured their feelings out and stuff, I kind of, like, really couldn't stay friends with them after that a little bit because it was just kind of too much. Oh, so dudes pour their heart out to you and you just cut them off completely? It's not cutting off completely. I don't think y'all like that, though. No, like it's that? not that. It's not that. It's like if they already know where I stand with everything, you know, if you're going to say it, like, really say it a second time, like, really, like, really, really say it a second time, um, I feel like, you know, I told you already how I feel and how can I, I might feel uncomfortable around you. But that's how I felt, you know, growing up. But what if it's weighing on his heart and you just posted the right thing at the right time and he's like, I got to tell her, I got to, she got to know. Da, 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 no, da. I mean, listen, like, that's what I said. We have a discussion and then if it becomes too much after that and I start to feel uncomfortable, then it got to go, you know, a different way. And we can be acquaintances. Like, I don't want to, like, say I hate anybody. Or anything like that just for that because they can't sometimes you just can't help how you feel. I guess. I'm telling you, it's the Let's friendship see, that well. it's the friendships that the relationships that lead um you to to be able to be in a relationship with somebody. But the friend zone's hard to get out of. I don't even know if I could give you a clear answer <laughs> to that. <laughs> They're not paying attention, but No, we got I, we got a good good meme going on over here. Tiana Trump, shout out to her. I like I shout out to Legends. She said, uh, I'll give you head as a friend. If you need head, just say you need head. <laughs> we got the Jordan shit, nigga, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a friend zone. I don't People say that all the time. Like, yo, I could just be your, 
you could just that's what niggas are saying in the end yeah yeah they just want like they're like can i be your toilet can what? i be what? your can i be your uh seat or something or whatever yeah yo we got a new segment on the show in dms Lex. with like yeah yeah you named it because i, I what you say Green, 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 the man, uh, you name it. I should, I <laughs> Top should five DMs this week with Lux. What, so what they be saying again? What's at number five? Go ahead. I wanted to dun, do dun, that dun, 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 I have an Instagram. <laughs> but... said, I'll be your toilet. <laughs> well, Shout out to him. What's his name? Go ahead. <laughs> nah, I can't say all that. All right, they might have, what, have what, a girlfriend what, or a wife or something. Who knows? You're definitely a wife. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> Bored as hell. <laughs> what else do people say in your DMs? Damn, I shouldn't have said that shit. That's no, that's good. This, good. this is good. This is good content. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just um, a lot of things, man. They like say what? a lot of things. You know, that they, they want to smell my feet. <laughs> what? The you know, honestly, fuck? as a kid, but I'm not going to lie. Wearing, like, there was a sneakers? little kid that I used to get babysat <laughs> with. <laughs> nah, there was a kid I, I used to... You can smell like three on threes, bro. <laughs> Listen, there was a baby a, yeah. a kid that I used to get <laughs> babysat <laughs> with. I mean, I was going to... Bruh, there was a kid that used to you say your sneakers smell like 21. <laughs> Maybe when I play ball. I forgot she knows. She's a play she ball. Shit. Yeah. Maybe when nigga I play ball. That's why I had to get those slides to air on my feet. Everybody's nigga walking said, out with them fucking basketball <laughs> shoes nigga, or their other shoes or their Uggs. I'm like, ew. Niggas say your kicks smell like. <laughs> your kicks. My, you want to smell it right now? Niggas say your kicks smell like two. You want to smell it right now? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm telling you what niggas said. I don't know them. Yeah, niggas. Didn't niggas. I didn't say it. No, niggas. You pointed niggas. at him. Niggas. No, niggas. no, no, no. Niggas said Niggas is never the person who lied. Oh, no, okay. But anyway, this kid that I used to get babysat with, he um he used to want to smell my feet. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't even well, know. He was what young the fuck. though, right? Yeah. What well, else? Young shit, probably. Babies. Why? I never wanted to smell anyone's feet. No, we're talking young, young like ten. What else they 11? saying in the DM though? I don't know. Yeah, number at number three. Yeah, like smelling the feet. Yeah, number three. Number three. We got we got, we got, we got two five now. and four. Go ahead, four. three more. Go ahead. I don't three. know what y'all talking about. Oh, you don't know? Top five DMs um, with Lux for the week. I don't know, man. I gotta go through my DMs for that. I can't think right now. That's, you have your phone in your mm -hmm. hand. Fuck the rest of the questions. These are real <laughs> questions now. Because they asking. They was in the nah, comments nobody last was asking. week. Like, I wonder what was your asking. DMs. There's a lot of things in my DMs. Let's go. Uh -huh. Could we visit there? I mean, they be wanting like to see me. <laughs> you know what I think we should do, bro? What should we do? <laughs> in her DMs, have you read them? Cause she's gonna give us what she wants us Good. to know. Yeah. He's a nice, unbiased person. He is Good, not about to guy. go through my DMs. Why? Why not? Because I said no. I'm gonna put in a group. Cause you reply. You Sometimes I do reply. Sometimes I do. What? So for most you know, it's all about. Because it'd be, like, it be funny. Sometimes I'm like, LOL, what the fuck? And a lot of people like to get humiliated. They want you to say you have How a small penis. How much would you charge penis. a nigga to smell your feet? What? I'm not. Nobody smelling my damn feet. What if they got that bag though? It has to be like at least five hundred plus dollars. They can smell my feet for like two minutes and then get the fuck out. <laughs> for two minutes? <laughs> what nah. if you trying to smell? What, so what celebrities try to smell your feet? Nah, I mean, listen, I don't know. Celebrities honest, of the week. Honestly, what celebrities I would probably do that shit if somebody wanted to smell my feet. Right, let's take it back to the, to Biggie shit. He said the bitch wanted me to lean over, cock and shit on her stomach. <laughs> A nigga said that in your DMs. I want to throw up. How much would you charge a nigga to do that in the end? I don't. What? That is not happening. He said, period. I will feed you a limited Hell. white castle. <laughs> you go at the shit, bro. You go at the shit. I'm sick. It's really yeah, different. No. I'm no, but a lot of it. I got that from Biggie. I didn't make that up. A lot of the DMs. Heard, you heard this song before. They be humiliating it. stuff. It like, right. like I said before, like they want, they're like, oh, um, can you tire get someone to tie me to a tree or something and like be in a bikini or like have they want me to watch them be tied to a tree and humiliate and laugh at by girls what do type that, of sick white shit is this it's not i mean listen get next to you i'm not against any of it you, you know get, you whatever they like week. is what they like she you know paid. whatever they like is i don't judge because i don't care i mean it'd be weird it's weird to me but i don't i don't care like i don't care whatever they do is what they do or want to do they want, whatever they like but what if they wanted to tie you up Nobody's tying me up, but I could get out of a, a rope. You did it before. Yeah, I have a rope. <laughs> oh, she tied up that before. type of shit. She in that yeah, but I also I did a shoot with the rope. <clears throat> she into that type of shit with the black lipstick and all that type of shit. Damn right I am. I like that shit. Why are you like to be spanked and shit? <clears throat> My I don't like that. My people come from slaves. I like the dominant <clears throat> chicks and I want to laugh, but I'm shit. not. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's That's not funny. Fucking, I would like true. to see Welly be Willie Willie. Willy, 
It's Welly true. Be, um, we make fun of it. Submissive. Well, we don't make fun of it. We have just somebody smack the it. shit out of you with a paddle. Nah, my, my mom used to whoop my ass. I ain't in way just hitting me with no paddle. Fuck mm-hmm. that. Uh-uh. I do get ass. I do get pictures of guys, the, their backside with their jeans under their ass. You saw how she said the backside? Yo, the backside with the jeans under their ass with like their, I guess they're plumping up their cake or the ass or whatever. All right, what's the craziest shit in your DM right now? Right now, I don't know. I'd have to go through that. All right, what's the craziest shit in your DM that you've seen so far? Just some uh, crazy shit. I don't know. Oh, uh, damn. This is gross. This Not gross. I don't want to say that. It's just a little bit. It's a little bit too much. So let me not say that. Um, I don't know. I gotta. There's a lot. Like, I can't think on the spot right now. Yo, like, why that's, a that fucking, that? that's a fucking reality show. Just a whole DM. Yeah, no. If I would have went through with my YouTube, but I, I didn't do that. We can bring Chris, do we got to bring Chris Hansen back? <laughs> we, could, we could bring him back. It should get, we could do a whole special on that. That's funny. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is this was Nancy's husband. I didn't even tell him. You know, I could have told him about the time that I was like 10 years old and this guy was trying to pretend like he didn't know where to go or whatever. And I turned around and asked my friend. I was like, do you know how to get to the bridge? I just moved to that spot. I just moved to that spot and I didn't know what to tell him. I was like, I don't know how to fucking get to the bridge. So I turn around. I look at her and I'm like, do you know? She goes, yeah, you got to make this blah, blah, blah. I turn around and his dick is out and he's just groping it. And this slimy shit is break. out. Yeah, that's what I got. That was the first time I probably actually have remember seeing a dick as a preteen. I swear to God. It's just crazy. Right in front of my house. <laughs> right on my block. Three doors down. Wow. Yeah, we That's... were walking to basketball practice. And that shit was just like me and this girl, Dara. Motherfuckers are sick. I don't think Dara wanted that out, but shout out to her. Wow, that's sick. I don't know if it was her or Mercedes. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That's some crazy shit. Motherfucker just got his joint out. But <laughs> what type of crazy shit? I mean, we were young. We, nothing happened, obviously. No, so not there's true. nothing like that she wouldn't want out, but, but like him, like, they dead ass exposed themselves just like that. I, I forgot. I completely forgot to say that to him. I was like, bro, like I, I just can't even was think that like of a neighbor or something. No, I didn't even know him. Never saw him. It was like some kid would have fitted. Some white kid would have fitted and. Was, oh, I, I don't I was know. thinking like an old man. Ew, but it was like disgusting to me. Like it was so disgusting. <laughs> like I saw that shit was disgusting. That's, like I, that, I don't even like to look at that shit in my DMs. I don't want that. That shit, shit. is like, crazy. Please to don't me. send me that, please. It's just so crazy to me. Like, what do you say? Like, oh, I'm about to pull up on these little bitches. <laughs> like, I don't understand. He that. must have it's seen us funny, r- walk around the it's corner. The, Chris Anson <laughs> said that's what they say. He must have seen us walk around the corner because we got to go back into my house for something. I don't even remember what. Maybe a basketball. I don't know. This motherfucker had patience. Yeah, because, you know, it's the same car. And she was like, you know, this car's coming this way. Maybe he needs something, but we don't stop for him. He stops first. And then, you know, then I'm like, 20 oh, miles away my from naive, any bridge. My dumb those, ass. Bro. Nah. My naive, those, no. dumb ass. I'm like, yeah, I want to help you. Like, I, I used to I'm feel like, like everybody, because, you you know, you give everyone the benefit of the doubt yeah. until they really fuck up. But now you see how crazy people fucking Not are. Wrong for everybody. And it's like, bro. Now she don't like dick pics. See how that happened? I Boom. don't. I definitely don't like to look at dick pics. I mean, you know, I like other things, too, you know. But know he is. said it best. I can't have a daughter, bro. I'm not prepared. Yeah. I would be in du- j- yeah. bro. <laughs> if that if my daughter had a story like that, what he looked like. Mm-hmm. And then the second I, I I find out what he looked like, I'm killing everybody that looked like that. No. You know what I mean? No. Because killing is no not the way to go. Okay. <laughs> we we got more questions on it. <laughs> no, there's one more question. Do we have time for one more question? One more. From Chrissy. Shout out to Chrissy. If Shout a guy if a guy says he's not in a rush to get into a relationship with you because of past issues he had, is there any chance that you'll end up together? Say it again. I'm sorry. I'm if a to guy leave. if a guy says he's not in a rush to get into a relationship with you because of past issues he had, is there any chance that you'll end up together? No. Game recognized game. He's just trying to fuck. Boom. Are you kidding me? Don't even listen to that response. Game recognized game. See, you don't recognize game. <laughs> Boom. You're, you're full for that it's not o- shit. It's not. Oh, you have a traumatic past. Yeah, come here. Let me just it's put, not put always the, the case. Like <laughs> I had in. mentioned That's before. <laughs> like I mentioned before. A lot of kids were born off putting tips in. Listen, you could be traumatized with some crazy shit. You don't know. Like, what about, like, domestic violence? Hello? You don't want to get into a relationship with someone because you know that title, like, changes fucking everything. And people might go side. You just don't know. Not to us. All right. So from a guy's perspective, if I tell her what, if if you're not in a rush, you know, if you tell some, like if she tells you, what about if she tells you that she's not in a rush? 
to get into a relationship with you, but you want to be in a relationship with her, but she can't, like, she needs more time. I'm cool with that. That, that, that means You're she's... cool with that. Mm -hmm. So, boom. So, anyway, so you're cool with that. So, Wally's answer was out of the question. We got Shadon's answer in there. That was a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? And then mine was, you know, <laughs> you, you a little realistic, too, you know what I'm boom. saying? So, anyway. She's um, to play me. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy, I feel like... You know, everybody is different in healing, so maybe you just need to give people that time, but they might be, you know, everybody has oh, a different Chrissy cutoff for that. Chrissy yeah, that's the zone. male friend zone. Mm -hmm. I ain't in nah, I've been doing a lot of traumatic <laughs> shit, man. No, I just be getting my dick sucked like no, that. No, I, I feel like, I feel <laughs> like that did. title, I feel Netflix like the title of being in a right. relationship or having a boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever, it just changes things. You know, there's more, um, uh, I don't want to say dedication because you should be dedicated regardless, I guess, you know, but... Uh, then again, no, because, you know, you don't want that stress. You don't want to have to work. You don't want to have to try to worry about someone, have to worry about someone if you're not at that state of mind yet where you so, feel like you're that open and you want someone so in there. So is there such thing as being in a relationship but not with the stress? Like, can you be in something cool, like that's fun and just... Yeah, but you on your side of the is world? that a relationship? It's a different type of relationship. But a relationship girlfriend, boyfriend, that's what, they, that's what she's talking about. You could be in that and... You know, no, it comes with it comes with all the baggage. I think niggas just want a little head. <laughs> uh, I think they a little head. He That's always I mean. thinks that. Yeah.